What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Donnie B here. Today we're doing something just a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a pro versus amateur photography contest. Now, the, the way we're gonna do it is gonna be three different time sessions. The first session is gonna be 15 minutes, the second session is gonna be 10 minutes, and the third session is gonna be five minutes. Now, the amateur that I'm up against has been kind of in my shadows for quite a while now, so she's been learning a lot. I've definitely been paying attention. Now, I gave her access to every piece of gear that I have, including software, the computer, software, lenses, camera, everything was completely up to her choice. So today we're battling my kiddo, Ava Claire. So what we did is uh, a while back, I gave her a Canon EOS R and RF 51.8. And I gave her the option to choose anything from my kid. I mean, she can get the R62, she can get L glass, she can get whatever she wants. And she chose to stick with the camera that she's been using for quite a while now, but, and I don't blame her. That's kind of what I recommend to anybody. So you want to, you want to be confident and familiar with your camera. She's confident and familiar with this one. Show them what you got. All right. So we just got the Canon EOS R with the nifty 50. That's, uh, that's quite the setup to be learning on, but it works out that, uh, she's learning quickly. Now, as far as me, I don't get access to anything that I would normally take on a photo location. Maybe one thing, but I've got three quarters here and I've written on them what I get to pick from. And it's gonna be a different camera for each session. And I just reach in, draw a coin for the first two and then whatever I'm left with on the third is it. So what, what I have to choose from, this is the Samsung S4 Zoom. This phone was released in 2004. It only shoots JPEGs, but it does. Uh, it is a point and shoot camera and it will zoom up to 240 millimeters full frame equivalent. The next thing is the DJI Action 4. And the reason I chose the Action 4 is because you're able to zoom in photo mode. On the Action 5, it's not that easy. You can't just quickly adjust your focal length. And then the last one would be my Samsung S24 Ultra. Now with the Samsung S24 and with the DJI Action 4, they both shoot raw and I will be able to edit them in Lightroom. This is only shooting JPEGs, so editing is going to be a bit different. But we were going to flip a coin to see who goes first. Ava Claire decided that she wanted to go first because uh, she didn't want to be influenced by some of my shots, which that's just the kind of mentality that she has. So um, we're in the general area of where we're going to start. and. Um, We'll move that way but first i'm going to introduce the talent the model for today is ava's boyfriend this is wit he's going to be in front of both of our cameras for the next hour or so and uh good luck to him timer starts now okay wait stand on that wall right there well no there's a power line right there okay go down here go down there <laughs> beside the wooden door other side, other side. okay now like kind of like look at me and then put your leg up against the uh thing and then if you look into like outwards. Okay. Um, then you can go down to this bridge down here. Run. I need you to run. Okay. <laughs> So I got the DJI Action 4, and like I said, the only reason I chose this over the Action 5 is one, I got the Action 5 here recording, and this one I'm able to zoom right here in the corner. I can just tap it, or long press it, and then zoom from there. I don't know how often I'm gonna use that, but it will be nice to be able to change the focal length. Other than that, it is pretty wide. I am in standard D-warp, just to kind of keep the, the barrel distortion down. I'm shooting RAW and JPEG, and I'm just gonna let it full automatic mode it takes too long to switch between shutter speed and all that so it's full automatic full automatic white balance everything completely auto only th the only thing that's going to be my saving grace is that i'm shooting or yeah shooting in raw 
So, um, whenever you're ready. All right. Three, two, one, go. The sky ain't falling, let's get out of this town. Our time is vital and we're making it count. Doing what we can to show them who we are now. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Let's show them who we're made of, let's show them who we are. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah. Go make for the clouds, we got our shoes. to change lenses to what? Oh, that's the wrong way. Uh, I'm going to change to this one. I really don't know what it is. I just know that it gets wide shots. 16 to 35? Yep. Okay. All right. It is recording. Say hello. Hello, guys. Alright, so second round, 10 minutes, I drew the Samsung S4 Zoom. Like I said, it's 10 years old. It's okay though, because it's a 24 to 240 millimeter full frame equivalent. So I actually might be able to get some real genuine depth of field with this camera. The problem is it's all JPEG. There's no raw photos. So my S24 and the DJI Action 4 both shot in raw and I can edit those. I can, I can save highlights. I can bring back the shadows. It's just, this is going to be what it is. I might be able to fudge the colors a little, but I doubt it. So we'll probably just go with whatever we can get out of it. Um, I've never actually officially shot any photos with this. It's more or less just been kind of a gimmick sitting on a shelf, but um, it is cool. So I'm actually kind of excited to actually use it for the first time. Is playing games with things I can't believe. Fake news coming off my screen. Go dust over everything. Flip through and I see your face. Cover up with pixelates, but you're so lovely in reality.
to the old ways Act like it's a school day Making up shit about someone Try to start a revolution You still got the same face But it's tied to a new name You can't hide for all right, well that was the first two rounds. We did it here at the local park. It's kind of really pretty with all the leaves on the ground and everything. Ava knew a lot more about photography than I, than I was led to believe, but uh, I think she crushed it. I struggled a bit with the first two cameras, but fortunately I really wanted the S24 for the last uh, location and that's what I got. I'm familiar with that. I use it all the time. It does well. It's a great camera. So I'm pretty confident that the third round is going to go to me. But we're going to let we're going to let everybody else decide that because we're going to take all the images where we're going to pick our favorite from each location. We're going to put them on Instagram on a poll and then see what everybody else thinks. It's not up to us. It's up to everybody else. So um, we're going to move to the third location, which is where I filmed last week's video. Uh, if you know where that is, leave it in the comments now. Also, go ahead and hit the like button for Lauren filming, BB filming, and Whip putting us putting up with us pointing the camera at him for so long. So, all right, we'll see you at the third place. All right, so we made it to the third location. We actually came here to do some portraits with these two. That's why they're dressed a little bit different, but same day. And um, we were at Goat Island where we filmed at last weekend. So it's an awesome place, and we're kind of going for like an early 20s, 30s kind of vibe with some of these older houses and you know kind of great depression era maybe do a little barefoot stuff i don't know we'll see so uh ava's up first she's using the 50 mil on the canon r and i have to use the s24 ultra which i'm actually kind of stoked about Alright, so I, let me see. All right, so I took three photos here at the last phase. I still got, um, oh, the timer went away. Uh, I know there's time left, but uh, really happy. I mean, we all think of his outfit. So perfect, so perfect. I so, like the suspenders. Yeah, I'm a fan too, man. It'll get on you. Um, so like I said, we we're going for like a 20s or 30s kind of Great Depression vibe, and I think we kind of nailed it. They're a little bit too clean, but that's okay. Maybe a little bit dirty, but they look perfect. Yep. Okay. Well, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the best photo from each session and then we're gonna put them on a poll and then we're gonna let everybody vote on them and then we'll, uh, we'll record the outro then. So I appreciate y'all tagging along this far and I'll see you at the end. What's up guys? We made it back to the studio. It's been a couple days since we had the contest and I gotta say, I, I really kind of got my butt kicked on this one. I wasn't using the latest and greatest for photography but uh, my knowledge still should have reigned supreme, but somebody has definitely been paying attention. And also, I, I know why she wanted to go first, because she used every single one of my, my secret locations. She went right to them and beat me to it. So I'm very proud of her. It was a very, uh, very fun competition. Hopefully she learned something, but we're gonna go over the photos that we both took. So the first round, she, uh, you know, she had the Canon EOS R and the Nifty 50 through the whole thing, and I shot with the DJI Action 4 in photo mode. Not great for photos, but it was able to shoot in RAW, so I, I was able to edit. So um, this is the one that I chose, and I'll put them all up on the screen so that y'all can see, but not a bad one for a wide angle. It made his feet look kind of big, but still it looked pretty good. Which one did you pick? I picked this one. 
Yeah, that's my favorite staircase. I like that yeah. a lot. And I like how he sat on the river stream. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you tell him to do that? No. That's okay. just where he sat. Yep. All right, in the next round, uh, I had to use the Samsung S4 Zoom. Now, I think it's dead now. But this is a literal point-and-shoot camera that's built into the back. Oh, it is on. That's built into the back of a Samsung S4. This was released in 2014. It only shoots JPEGs. It actually, you know, it was pretty cool being able to zoom up to 240 millimeters. The bad thing is it was an optical zoom and the images look like crap. But this is what I, figures. This is what I got. Oh, where is it? Yep. Yeah, that was, I liked your pose. Well, I tried to come around and shoot through something because I needed to use composition as my strong point because the camera was not going to do the heavy lifting. So I really tried to do it with composition. And you can just see if you zoom in, like, oh, it's not terrible. No, but I, it's definitely, you can tell it's with an old camera. Yeah, for sure. Let me see. This one's mine. I yeah. didn't really like it, but it was the best one we got the, that entire time we were in downtown. Or at okay. the park. I got something to say about that after we go through this though. But all right, so the last one I used my S24 Ultra, and this is where like the, the camera actually did a lot of the heavy lifting. And I was familiar with it, I knew exactly what to do, and went to that five times telephoto 50 megapixel, and it really it pulled a lot of weight for me. So um, we did this at the location that I filmed the past two videos. And I really love that spot. We also did some uh, stylized shoots there yesterday, or day before yesterday, and those turned out great too. I'll throw my favorite one of those up right here. But um, this was the picture that I picked. Yeah. And I, it was between that one and that one. I like that yeah. one a lot too, because he's too. framed up. But um, yeah, that's it, let's see. That's what see, I chose. That's an absolute banger right there. Yeah, I like I like how everything looks, like the colors and the texture of everything. Did you put his eye line on that third? Yeah. Yeah. I did. Yeah. See, she's been paying attention for sure. Yeah, I really liked how that one turned out. That was definitely my favorite. That's uh, you know I, I I try to teach without being boring, and it's hard to do sometimes. And she hears me a lot say about composition and rule of thirds and all those things. And in that image, she definitely nailed it because his eye line is right on that that upper third, and he's in the center. Um, one thing you could have done is step back a little further and put his head in the the upper left corner, like step back a little bit and then put him like over here, looking yeah. out that way. Yeah. That way, it kind of gives direction. Mm -hmm. But it was a super fun challenge, and I got to say, I am super proud of, um, I haven't really had to tell her a whole lot. She's just watched and learned, and also been the subject of many, many of my shoots. So I guess she's just paying attention from the other side of the lens, which is kind of hard to do, and she picked up quickly. Um, what, what do you, you got anything to add? No, I'm just glad I won. <laughs> I just got I That's all I wanted. So we put all the photos up on three different polls on Instagram. And the first and the third, she whooped me. But the second, um, th I got her on that one. But it wasn't even a good image, but I got her on that one. Now, the other one that I wanted to do for the first one was this one. I thought that was kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that one. And there was a car right there. I don't know if you remember that. And I had to cut that cut out. It out. Yeah. But being a raw image, I was able to do that. If that was a JPEG, I couldn't. Now, it's time for me to be a dad, and i got to give a little bit of advice. What's one thing that you would have done different? Um, definitely picked out my locations, like where I was going to go and what I was going to do and how I was going to use like the atmosphere around me to my advantage. I think that you should have slowed down. Really? I know you say, I know you heard me say, Fast is smooth, or slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. Yeah, I slowed down after that. You spent all your time running around. If yeah. you would have taken five, five or six shots at each spot you ran to, I think you would have came out with many more keepers than you did. Well, I had a lot in downtown, and that was the only place where I ran around. The second location, I walked everywhere. Yeah. So I just, I didn't have any room for any shots at the second location. Yeah. 
anyway, it was fun. And, you know, I'm trying to do a lot more photography and videography content. It seems to be getting more views and seems that y'all are enjoying it a lot more. So I'm going to be focusing a lot more on uh, creative content. And this was, um, this was a fun video to make. And even everybody that participated, Lauren was behind the camera, my youngest was behind the camera, and all of them said that they had a great time that day. We just did it as a family. It was really fun, we had a good time. And uh, Wit was a champ for letting us point the camera at him all that time, and I don't know. It was a good experience, and uh, hopefully we can do more of it in the future. So if you did like this content, be sure to hit the like button, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Um, I guess that's gonna do it for this one. As always, take care of yourselves. You know you deserve it. I'm Donnie B. I'm Ava. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Peace.